Amazing Spider-Man. This is from Marvel's Luke Cage. And this is a scene from Joker. Notice something similar? One bad They're day. all shot in the exact same place. The 12th Avenue underpass in Harlem. When you stand underneath Riverside Drive, I mean, it is like the classic abandoned New York location that everybody always wants. The underpass is known for its viaduct, an arching structure with a grandeur filmmakers are drawn to. Cool. It gets a lot of play because it is just a really visually captivating space. It gives this basically cascading overhang of just metalwork. This is just one of several New York filming locations you see pop up again and again in shows and movies. We spoke with five location scouts to find out why these spots are in such Location high scouts? If you look closely at the That's another cool job you don't think about, man. New York movies, they just drive around and check out places. All filmed at Arthur Kill Correctional Facility. This decommissioned Ooh, prison in Staten Island has everything you could ever need for a jail or prison scene. From the barbed wire and guard tower in front to real cells inside. It also comes with a lot of space. With 70 acres of... How hard do you think it is to actually climb a fence like this? Is it... Is it impossible? Or is it possible but you'll cut yourself up completely? That would be extremely painful. Like, does it just really slow people down? Or do you fucking die if you try to climb it? Try it on stream lot of space with 70 acres of grounds and these long stretches of hallway that helps for choreographing action sequences it's that kind of facility you guys seen that uh, barbed wire lends itself to have oh yeah what if you just bring a what if you just bring like a blanket toss the blanket on it i guess not everyone has a blanket to use right G Fabian, 15 months. TK Tombstone, 14 months. Thanks, guys. Welcome back. 70 acres of grounds and these long stretches of hallway. That helps for choreographing action This is a good sequences. scene. It's that kind of facility and there aren't that many that lends itself to having these really long, unbroken takes like Daredevil season three, 12 or 13 minutes uncut, just moving through the entire space, down the hallways, past wow. the cells, out to the front door. The location is surprisingly versatile. Multiple cell blocks. It's not barbed wire, it's a razor wire. To just be at one. There are cells Ugh. that could work as a hospital. And it's great because let's razor say you have wire. to marry two locations together and those scenes don't fill a full day. You can combine them into one day and film it there, for example. The facility's giant parking Jesus. lot was even dressed up as Afghanistan for the code. Dramatic Jesus. mystery scenes, villain face-offs, and wild car stunts have all used this very backdrop. The Brooklyn Navy Yard, a vestige of industrial New York. Brooklyn once had a busy industrial nah. waterfront. But over the past few decades, high-rise apartment complexes and office buildings have moved in and turned the former manufacturing hub much more residential. That's why scouts return again and again to this shipyard, where 70,000 people once worked before it closed down in 1966. When now everything it's a ghost is town. out, the abandoned docks and hulking warehouses can create an ominous look exactly what crime shows are after you want that like you know really industrial or oh no somebody's getting murdered on the docks at night great place to go to bodies have been dumped at this dry dock in multiple shows the hmm. amount of open space makes it possible to execute wild stunts like when daredevil blew up a boat on the docks the end of the first John Wick movie and there was a car chase and then a car like crashed into this dry dock like you know dropped into it many filmmakers focus on the grit of the city but some scenes call for a more buttoned up New York setting. Like this one that pops up again and again in scenes involving business or government meetings. Manhattan has plenty of office spaces, but many are on extremely high floors, which means the lighting very much depends on the sky. Rather than relying on natural light from the windows, the filmmakers need to control the lighting. Then you can basically shoot it any which way you want and have it look always the same. But the higher the office spaces are, the more difficult to get lights into. That's what makes this spot prime. It's an office on the third floor of the Brooklyn Public Library with big windows that crews can pass lights through. And because it's on a reachable floor, they can do it without getting a big condor lift involved. All right. The office also has a versatile mid-century design that can work across many decades. From modern business dramas Clink. like Billions to period pieces like The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. A lot Never of heard the most that movie. famous subway scenes are shot at one specific station. 
Hoyt Shermer. All of this is just New York. The reason this spot is oh. so popular? Oh. Well, filming authentic subway scenes comes with huge... I would have preferred a video like this, so but, uh... You're at the whim of the MTA. A bit more spread out. Things can change. We had that happen for in the Heights. They had to reroute their trash trains, and essentially their trash trains had to come through our Fresh. set. Crews are less likely to run into these logistical problems if they film at tracks that are no longer in use, like the one at Hoyt Shermerhorn. It's a working station, but with one deactivated platform among three active ones. It's a place where we know we can film during regular business hours. Signage can turn it into basically any other subway stop, like in this scene from Coming to America. When Lisa enters the station, it's labeled as Van Wyck Boulevard. But if you look closely, you'll see it's actually Hoyt. The giveaway is those blue and yellow tiles with a circled L in the middle. Remnants of what was once one of Brooklyn's loser. biggest department stores. Wait, it actually sort of stands for loser. Loeser. Losers, which stood where Hoyt Losers. does today. Then when Lisa exits the train, the station's labeled Sutfin. L. This was also filmed at Hoyt. Recognize this bar? It's appeared in everything from TV shows like Gotham to movies like The Kitchen. Can I have some relevant shows and movies in this? For scenes set in dive oh, bars the departed. and shadowy back rooms, directors like Martin Scorsese often want the real deal. Brooklyn's Irish Haven has kept its tile floors and wood paneling mostly unchanged since 1964, when it was a favorite spot for iron workers to unwind after work. There's a pool table. I like I like uh, Irish pubs. It has also just this great seasoned New York look to it. You don't have to change too much when you go there. The no frills exterior and dimly lit interior are well suited to gritty settings like Gotham. And the classically divey setting can stand in for other cities too, not just New York. The bar and pool table are famous for the scenes in the Boston set, The Departed. When you see New York in a movie, you might see a scene like this. Or this. A dark scene. Wait, that's the movie I worked on, chat. I worked on this. Yep, I worked with Megan Fox, guys. This. A dark, this. seedy alleyway. It was filled shit. Graffiti. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I never actually watched it. <laughs> Shuttered apartment. Uh, I'm not watching that crap. Escapes. But in reality, New York doesn't really have alleyways, which means dozens of alleyways. famous scenes have been filmed in this it's exact out of my spot hands. to get that gritty look. One reason so many scripts call for New York scenes to take place in alleys is, well, Hollywood. The writing for most projects takes place in LA. When you go to LA, there's alleys everywhere. Good liar. New York was designed according to the grid system, with little to no space for alleys. The Yo, uh, is so valuable. any board mods here? Fucking maybe? That could remove the Arcanium timer thing. That we just didn't leave space for it. If they're envisioning LA alleys, probably not gonna find, but there are other types of alleys that are smaller and tighter. Like Cortland Alley, which might be the Portland. most used filming location in all of Manhattan. Really? That is an alley that gives you just about everything. It's fire escapes, it's graffiti. Many of the apartment windows have these big decades old shutters, which adds to the alley's aesthetic. Crews can put That's lights cool. inside the windows of the apartments above. I paid people in the same apartment buildings for lighting positions, looking in the same exact spots that, you know, teen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shot in as well. The location's use goes beyond. Oh wait, they get, they get money so they can put a lamp from their place. Cool man. Gritty scene. Easy money. Take this wholesome scene in Annie, which Eric worked on. Doggy. The team used Cortland Alley to create a path for this chase sequence, adding trash and boxes as obstacles. Little nooks in the alleyway served as spots for the dog trainers to hide during filming. Since Cortland Alley is owned by the city, it's cheaper to film there. As it's one of the very few actual public alleys, it gets used all the time. So Who owns the other alleys? Who owns an alley? You'd like own the land, I guess? But I thought like you, you would own the buildings, not the space between them. Much that sometimes it's put in what's called the hot zone. In New York City, when something's been filmed too much and the residents are unhappy Hobos. with the impact it has, the mayor's office will put something on the hot zone. And that means that there's just sort of a moratorium on filming until they take it off there. How Portland about that? Portland Alley has stayed looking more or less the same for decades. Jeez. But in much of New York, things are always changing. These steps in Joker, they were actually the director's second choice. Todd Phillips initially requested this menacing set of stairs from American Gangster. And when I went to go visit it, it had gotten a whole makeover, no! brand new concrete, little 
cute trees. It had been power washed of all of its graffiti and kind of grit. After visiting 25 to 30 different step streets, Aaron tracked down this one, which had exactly what they were looking for. It brought drama. In terms of the length and steepness Jesus. of the stairs, kind of confined and, and narrow, it hit all the marks. And it had that great view just off from the top, looking into the city that, hmm. that really worked for us as well. The spot became instantly iconic, showing that while the face of the city is always changing, New York will always be a great place to shoot New movies. York, New York. Cool. New York is an interesting city. I gotta go there someday. Visit Zealand. Talk about football. When leak content. <laughs>